Hey everyone, Admin here from Foundation 360s and today I will be showing you how to make an email sending application using Visual Basics 2008 Express Edition. Now, you will see that I'm here at Gmail. Now we will need to create a Gmail account and I was just having a look at this and they have changed it around a bit. But what you want to do is create an account, now get started with Gmail. Make sure it's not the other thing because I was having a look at it and it turns out it's not. So we'll just have a look here. Alright, desired login name, we'll just make it SMTP um, cli uh, app client. Just you can make it make it any name. Yeah, there you go. And just put the password one, two, three, four, five. Easy as that. It took a few goes, but I got it at the end. Alright. Congratulations. Show me to my account. Yes, you better. Alright, I'm just going to copy that because I can't be bothered later on in the video. Now we're going to now start up Visual Basics after you created your annoying little Gmail account that you're never ever going to use. Except for one thing. Now, we're going to go File, New Project, Windows Form Application. Okay, now just resize the forms whatever you want. You will need two labels, so drag and drop two labels. You'll need two text boxes. I sure don't want to copy and paste them. Um, and you'll need one button. And now I'm going to put the label here. I'm going to put a text box here. Drag that out to there a bit. Put a label there. Drag that out here a bit. And make that multi line. Put the button here. Do 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 do. And there you go. Make that a bit bigger and resize that a bit okay now we're just going to rename a couple of things so just cl right click and go to properties and we're just going to make this um, subject you can make it of course differently I'm just making it subject for the example and I'll put message and we'll rename this to send okay first thing you're going to want to do is click on the send button and you'll want to put import a few things so we'll be importing the following you need to import system dot web and you'll need to import something else so import system dot io and you need to import one more thing import system dot net dot mail there you go now that you've done that just to show you click on the button and you want to type in the following dim so we're dimming something here my mail message as new mail message make sure you spell that with an a there's two spellings to this and this one that's e and a just thought I might point that out you want to try my mail message dot from equals new mail address and this is what it's going to send it to so I want it to send it to Kilimanjaro at hotmail dot com and just end that with a bracket now now what you want to type in is my my mail message there it is right there saves time um two dot add and you want to type in oh i am sorry hang on yes well actually that makes sense now i was just having a look at it and no i think i stuffed up one sec it's not like big but what you're going to want to do here is because I just realized that it's going to add it to it you will need to speaking of which get the uh, SMTP client you started so I'm just going to copy and paste that into here sorry my mistake that's not what it's sending it to that is what it's sending to okay we can we continue on with the typing my mail message dot sub equals text box one 
dot text. There you go. And one more time now. Okay, I did something wrong, didn't I? What did I do? Sorry, subject. There you go. Okay, my mail message dot body equals text box text box two dot text. Now we gotta dim things now. This smoke gets annoying. Okay, dim SMTP as new SMTP. Whoops, not access. We need client. Um, and basically, you're going to want to type in smtp.gmail.com. See, this is why we needed the Gmail account because we'll be using the Gmail SMTP server. So, smtp.gmail.com.